Got my iced coffee here. It's really freaking hot. Let's wrap this up. Hey everyone, my name is Faina and this is Bookish Paradise. Is it me or is time flying by super fast? Because it's already the end of June. I feel like just yesterday I released that June TBR video and here we are. So a quick recap. For the month of June, I had said that I was going to read four books. Please ignore the crookedness of my finger, which by the way, the reason I haven't posted in the last like week or so is because I decided to slice off a good chunk of my finger, but everything is good. I had stitches, I removed them, everything's good. Still haven't re received all of my feeling in my finger yet, but it's there. The four books that I had mentioned were Among Shadows, Crescent City as a reread, Truth of Lies, and The Lost Apothecary. Please keep in mind, I am a recovering reading slumper. The last few months I have been in a major reading slump, but I've gotten out of it. If you want to hear more about that, you can click on the video right here. I didn't have a chance to read all of the four books. I read two and a half, I guess. The first book I read for this month was The Lost Apothecary. Um, I have mixed feelings about this book. I thought I was going to give it five stars before reading it, but uh, overall I gave it four stars and let me tell you why. I was going to give it three stars, but then I realized the reasoning behind me decreasing the amount of stars was, was not really up to the author. It was more of a, my own kind of thing. Basically, when I first heard about this book, I thought it was going to be something completely different. I was reading different quotes that the author had posted, such as, female apothecary secretly dispenses poisons to liberate women from the men who have wronged them, unsolved apothecary murders that haunted London, not everyone will survive. Just a heads up, I'm not gonna put any spoilers in this book. It's just me talking about whether or not I enjoyed it and the reasoning behind my rating. Based on those quotes, I thought we were gonna have more of like a dark twist uh, in the book. I thought there was gonna be more conflict. However, it was not anywhere close to what I expected the book to be. It didn't grasp my attention too much. I did enjoy the writing. I did enjoy that there were uh, two points of views. Uh, the historical aspect of it was also nice, a little lacking, but overall I wasn't super invested in the book. There was a nice buildup towards the end and I guess the way she ended the book was was nice, but I guess I was expecting a lot more. So that's why I didn't give this book three stars. I didn't want to be that harsh because the idea was there, the plot was there, but just the execution was lacking. And therefore I gave it four stars. The next book that I read was Among Shadows. And this book I actually received uh, from the author. She mailed it to me and I was quite surprised because I was chosen to review this book. So there were a few copies that were printed and shipped out to selected reviewers. Let me just say I was pleasantly surprised by this book. I gave it a five stars. And if you want to read my full review of this book, I have it on my Instagram page or on my Goodreads. You'll find the links in the description down below for both. What the author did here was quite unique in the sense that instead of build doing like this whole world building that we see in other books she kind of like takes you and places you in the center of some kind of event or just in the middle of this world but you feel comfortable as if you've been there and you know the setting and you know the people around she basically immersed you into the story and into the plot right away but i didn't feel lost or left out or you know scrambling for context and i feel like it's it's a very unique ability for an author to do something like that. Unlike the other book, The Lost Apothecary, this one had me intrigued where every time I was, you know, going through the chapters, I, I, I had to know what was happening. She was very good at building up suspense and I really wanted to resolve whatever mysteries that she had laid out. One of my favorite things about the book, I would say, is the main character. She has this like badass nature, but at the same time, you can tell she's human and she has flaws in her demeanor, but that's what makes her that much more relatable. So overall, I highly recommend you guys pick up this book because it was definitely a five-star read for me. Unfortunately, those are the only two full books that I read. I didn't read The Truth of Lies, so I might push that off for like another month or so. We'll see. But right now, I am currently rereading Crescent City. Matches my nails. I checked Goodreads and I read this book initially in May 2020. Now that the second book is out and if you can see, I can't point properly, right there, that blue. 
yeah, that's the second book and it's been, <laughs> it's been on my shelf ever since it was released and I really want to read it, but I don't want to dive into it without reading the first book again because there's so many details that were left out. Um, I am currently on page 266. A lot has happened. My blood pressure is through the roof, but I'm glad I'm making this decision because there's a lot of detail that I had missed in my first read. I guess you can assume that for my July reads, uh, Crescent City 2, the second book, is going to be at the top of my list for that month. And guys, let me tell you, uh, my next video, which will be my TBR for July, let's just say we're going on a blind date with some books. In other words, I have ordered a bunch of blind date with a book. And I have zero idea what these books are, but these books are going to be my TBR for the month of July. And I have zero, I have zero idea of what they are. Don't forget to stay tuned for my next video in order to see what in the world I bought and what are these blind date with books. And there's some other like bonus goodies that they put in their packages. And I'm just really excited to show you guys what am I reading in the month of July. Now, let me know in the comments below, how many books did you guys read in June? Sure, I only read two books plus like 200 pages of this other book, but I'm very proud of myself because again, earlier I've read like one book in a span of a couple of months. So this is progress. I'm hoping to finish reading the first and second Crescent City book and then whatever books that I am going on a blind date with in July. Even if you've only read one book, I applaud you because that's more than I read in a span of six months. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you guys enjoyed this video and really want to see what books I'm going on a blind date with next. Thanks again for joining me in my small corner of bookish paradise.